Black History Month has been celebrated in the United States for more than 50 years. Today, with so much attention focused on race and race relations, we wanted to see how teachers are navigating controversial waters, challenging young minds and adding clarity in a time of confusion. WHS 11's Eric King sat in on a high school class at Louisville's Valley High School. Doing good? Awesome. Andre, how's your day going? Good. If today's news is tomorrow's history, it's today's writers and teachers who will define it. The teaching black history is just a part of teaching the truth of history. Kiara Gray is one of those teachers. I told them yesterday, I was like, because enslavement is the history of Europeans and, and others. It is not specifically black history. Enslaving others is not the history of black people. There's no white glove treatment here. Her students are diverse, and her lessons encourage engagement, lively debate, and understanding. It is because it's a lot of, of questions. And I want, I try to start every year with creating a class contract and getting everyone on the same page that we're gonna be uncomfortable at some point and we need to get comfortable with that and be able to have everyone genuinely engaged and feel like they can ask those questions. Do you need a paper? As a, just a historian, it's important for me to teach all of history and to teach the truth of history, and that's including everyone that has had a story, or all the stories that are a part of, of history, which include black stories, African-American stories. It's welcome clarity and context for James Johnson. You know, and it makes you want to learn more. James is a student in Kiara's Black Historical Consciousness class. It's like a never-ending type of, you know, I say hatred in a way, because some people grow up, you know, they have kids and that's when they want to put their type of thoughts in their kids, you know, because I remember my mom was saying not all the kids are the same, but they become the same once somebody leads them to that way. Providing the backbone to and support for that clarity and context is a source of pride from JCPS Chief Equity Officer Dr. John Marshall. We're encouraging teachers to actually go a little bit beyond, if possible, some of our history lessons and make sure the students get voice to say, well, what about this side of this uh, situation? What about this side of this person? Or let's look into it and let you decide on if this person is good, bad, villainous, heroic, or whatever. But we also need to understand that some of the things that we've done with curriculum is completely leave things out. So your sound teaching, which is what we're doing here in JCPS or working towards, has a holistic view of what education is. So when you go into a classroom and you see a teacher that is teaching a holistic view, or the entire episode of something, it's a bit more engaging, it's a bit more interesting, and honestly, it's a bit more honest. While black history is the national focus of February, this district-wide holistic teaching effort reflects the district's diverse makeup year-round. One thing we always teach our kids is to not lie. So one of the things we're doing with our curriculum is to stop lying. Let's tell the truth about what our curriculum is and isn't, and then let students and people discern what it is they want to believe, follow, or not follow. Back in the classroom, Kiera is conscious of the importance of her work and laser focused on the merits of it. It can be challenging, like as a black woman teaching black history, it is not all rainbows and sunshine. It is very hard, it is very um, emotional, but it is also, again, reframing and finding the, the power and resilience. So it is exciting to see students engage and want to know more about their history and want to, want to see themselves in history and what they can do and how they can change the, the future as well. Eric King, WHAS 11, on your side.